Well, ladies and gents, welcome back to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is Portal 2. Before we jump back into it, just a quick reminder. You, yes you, you're an awesome person. So, keep being awesome to others, okay? Alright, let's jump back in and do this, shall we? Hard light bridges. Ooh. Okay, what is a hard light bridge? These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. That sounds It would lovely. also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Thank you for the safety briefing. I do this, I can run along it. That's not very nice. God, ah! Oh. The character has such a floaty feel to it that it freaks me out. Then I'm gonna go back through there. And then just do that. No. Hang on. Nope. Too far over. It's not too bad. Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which, I was researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. You must have missed the part where you were trying to help me. I seem to recall you trying to kill Good me. Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I save recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Aww. I still don't actually have a nice bone structure. That's unfortunate. It's definitely not the game to play if you have... Self-esteem problems. The door's malfunctioning. I guess somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Hey, hey, up here. I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I ah! Bird! 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 Okay. That's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid. Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, all right? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have okay. to figure out how to break us out of here. That would be helpful. Here she comes, keep just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me, never saw me. I went and spoke with the door mainframe. 
Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So we have this. That's good. So I do that. Then I have access to the light thingamajig. So then I can just do that. Beep. So then I have access to it there. Hmm. You did so well. I'm going to note this on your file in the commendation section. Oh, there's lots of room here. Did well. Enough. You know what? It's still a commendation. I'll take it. It's not much of one, but it still counts. Yeah, if... if if you've got self-esteem issues... This involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh, wait. That's you in five seconds. Good luck. Yeah, if this... If self-esteem is something that you suffer with, uh, this game probably not for you. You know what? I'm okay with that. Actually, no, I'm not. I lied. I'm just gonna sit you right over there. Just angle you at the wall. That way you can't hurt anybody. Uh, grab my friendly friend right there. We're gonna take care of that one. Powered on. Nope, can't do that. Okay, well, I seem to be finding my way out of there. These doors are different, too. Maintenance areas? To maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours. 
cells and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you may be confused about the passage of time. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. Oh. I thought you'd want to know. Well, thank you for that. It wasn't really, but thank you anyways. forever, but you're going to be dead in 60 years. Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, technically, it's a medical experiment. What's important is it's a present. Oh, well, thank you. Doesn't sound like a present I want, but thank you for the thought. Because, you know, the thought's really what matters. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. That's not me talking. It's right here in your file. On other people, it looks fine. But right here, a scientist has noted that on you, it looks stupid. Well, what does a neck-bearded old engineer know about fashion? He probably... Oh, wait. It's a she. Still, what does she know? Oh, wait. It says she has a medical degree. In fashion. From France. A medical degree in fashion. Wow. Hmm. Activated. Nope, 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 nope. Let's not activate and say we did. Okay. Searching. So. There you are. Target lost. Yep. You said you're right there with your friends. It's all the same to you. Hmm. How do I do this? Fun. I see the two turrets right there pointed at me, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yep, I was right. Leave them standing. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man and a woman. So that's interesting. It's a small world. Oh. That is interesting. Assuming that there's any truth to that, I mean... GLaDOS is not the most reliable of narrators. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise. So I'll just give you a hint. It involves meeting two people you haven't seen in a long time. Really? Mm, somehow I don't believe you. Ooh. Let's go around you real fast.
I'm still here. I feel bad for destroying the turrets, but at the same time, I don't really have much of a choice. I completed your test, though. This next test was designed by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune to neurotoxin. Yeah, that was one of your favorite tricks, wasn't it? Just as dropping your cameras off the walls whenever and wherever possible is one of mine. Stand over here. Do that to basically anywhere else. I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Okay. I don't trust you. Surprise with no E. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. I made it all up. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. And the savagery keeps on coming. Okay. There's a turret over there. There's a laser thing going over there. I have to figure out how to bounce the laser all over the place. Where's the control for that thing? That's my first question. what I wanted to do, but all right, sure. Ow. So there is nothing over here.
Hang on a minute. Could work. No! Ah, excellent. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. I just... I literally just ran off the side because I wasn't paying attention. I didn't realize that wasn't a solid platform all the way through. Wow, I feel like a moron now. Okay, so. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. The birth parents you are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad, but impressive. Maybe they worked at the phone company. prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. <laughs> just hang in there for five more chambers? Oh my gosh, you're not asking much. Of course, and again, what other choice do I really well, have? You know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while. So I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math. Mm. First things first, get rid of her. And do that. 
this. So that's where I need that one going. Oh, no, that was horribly wrong. Alright, alright, alright. I think I see what to do now. Maybe. Okay, so that's what to do. But I have to actually have the cube with me in order for that to actually do anything useful. That was close. There we go. And then I just go through, do the same thing. And then we just got to do the same thing coming off of over there. Ow, ow, ow. 
preferably not landing on that. I thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. For one of both of us. Good. Good. Okay. Uh, apparently, according to Wheatley, we only have to hold off for four more test chambers, and then he'll save us. Based off of his previous attempts to save us, I don't know if that's really a good thing or not, but sure, we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Help keep the YouTube overlords happy. And if you want to see what happens next time, see if Wheatley can actually save us, well, make sure you're subscribed. That way you know when I upload new videos. Till next time, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. I will catch you in the next one.